Can you update a Surface Pro 3 to Windows 11? Well, when you run the PC Health Check app, it says this system is not compatible and it's because of the CPU. We have everything else we need like secure boot, TPM 2.0, enough RAM, etc. It's just the CPU that's holding us back. But luckily, Microsoft has published a way for us to upgrade unsupported systems. And all we need to do is add this registry key and it will bypass the check for the CPU and for TPM 2.0, which doesn't matter for us since we have TPM 2.0, but this will also work on systems with TPM 1.2. Now, if you've seen the other videos on this channel, you'll know we already upgraded an unsupported Surface Book and an HP Z820 to Windows 11 using this method. And it's exactly the same for the Surface Pro 3. But before you continue, understand that this could screw up your Surface. Microsoft nor I make any guarantee that this will work for you. The risk is all yours. If you choose to continue, you should make a full backup of your system before you upgrade. All right, let's do this. Open this site, put it to the side, then open the registry editor by opening the start menu and typing regedit or registry, open the registry editor. Then we need to go to this exact location, click H key local machine, expand it, expand system, then setup and select Mo setup. If you don't see the Mo setup folder, go back and install all updates for Windows 10 first and then come back. Now copy this name, in the Mo Setup folder, right click, New, and create a DWORD 32 bit value. Then paste the name we just copied into this box. Either right click and paste or Control V. That's good. The type is Reg DWORD, and that's already correct. And the value needs to be 1. So right click the name we just created and choose Modify. In the value data box, press one and click OK. And that's it. But before you go, double check everything. If it's not exactly like the instructions, you could screw up your computer. So make sure it's exact. All right, this looks good. Close the registry editor and restart your surface. Once it restarts, we need to download Windows 11. Now, technically, I don't need to do this since I already have a flash drive with Windows 11 on it from my previous installs, but we will walk through the steps again just in case you haven't seen the previous videos. Come back to this site, click this link, and I'll be sure to have all of this in the description below. We're going to create Windows 11 installation media and put it on a USB flash drive. Click download. Then open the media creation tool. Go through the prompts. Choose USB flash drive and make sure you use a blank flash drive because anything on it will be erased. Insert the USB flash drive into the surface. Click next and select the flash drive you just connected. Now, if you have other USB drives connected, make sure you select the correct drive because everything on that drive will be erased. This is the one I want. Click next and then just wait while Windows 11 downloads. And we are done. Now we can install Windows 11. But before we begin, make sure to connect power to your surface. Since the flash drive is already connected, just pop into it and run Setup. Click Next. It'll grab some updates. The installer will restart automatically. And you should pass this check since we changed the registry. Click Accept. Wait for the updates to finish. And then you'll get this warning. Once again, this is not recommended and you could damage your surface. If you're fine with that risk, click Accept. 
and we are ready to install. Right now, we're set to install Windows 11 Pro and to keep all files and apps. That means your programs will still be there, all of your files will still be there after the install. You could change that if you want, but most people will want to keep everything. All right, this is it. Click Install, and Windows 11 will install. Now all you have to do is wait. During this upgrade process, your Surface will restart a couple times, and you'll need to log in to finish the final setup. And that's it. Windows 11 is installed. The first thing you'll probably want to do to make this look more like Windows 11 is right click the desktop, choose Personalize, and choose a Windows 11 theme. Nice. A quick test shows that touch still works. The keyboard still works. Orientation still works. Everything looks good here. All right, so that's it. That is installing Windows 11 on an unsupported Surface Pro 3.